news overnight, or maybe disgusting news, which is that the University of Sydney has uh, returned a surplus of over one billion dollars. That's about a third of its total budget. And we know exactly how it is that they've made that surplus. It's on the back of the hard work of everyone here. And shamefully, it's on the back of sacking staff. Sacking ongoing staff, stopping the contracts of fixed term staff, and not employing casual staff. The university, it shows what an absolute uh, sham it is, the university's claim that they can afford the NTU's uh, demands for job security, for protection against overwork, and for a fair pay rise for all staff, among other things. Uh, and so I think today, combined with that news overnight, is going to send a really clear signal to the bosses uh, that they need to get serious and agree to our demands. Uh, it's in the interest of staff, it's in the interest of students, it's in the interest of the whole community. I just want to say great work everyone, you're doing an awesome job. Uh, this is the third day of strike, obviously we'll take more if necessary, uh, but I think this is going to send a really clear message, so well done. I'm Fanola Lochran, um, I'm a casual tutor in the Department of Gender and Cultural Studies. I'm a proud NTU member and member of the Casuals Network, and I'm one of the picket captains of um, the Vic Park, Parramatta Road Picket. Why are you here today? Um, I'm here today for a number of reasons. I'm really proud to be fighting for um, First Nations employment targets, enforceable targets. This university um, often engages in a bunch of um, public relations stunts related to First Nations, uh, but doesn't uh, walk the walk, doesn't um, actually address the systemic racism that is operating at this, at, in this institution. We need cultural safety of our First Nations um, comrades to be taken seriously, First Nations employment targets. We need there to be um, cultural leave for people um, and recognition that a lot of unpaid labour is um, being done, being performed by First Nations staff and